Hi YouTube, back to basic scale here again. Today I'm doing some vacuum sealing of some food products and I thought uh, you might appreciate a, uh, a comparison between the food saver system and this uh, sorbent system snorkel vac that you can buy online at sorbentsystems.com. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go through the differences of the, both the machines and you can compare them your, for yourself. Uh, this is a food saver machine here. The other one's a snorkel vac. Uh, the food savers are readily available. I think this is last year's model. I saw that they came out with a new one. Um, this machine, uh, they're both noisy. Um, I think the food saver is a little bit noisier than the snorkel vac. Um, this one, uh, the food saver has the hose attachment, so you can do mason jars. I think that's very cool um, part of this machine. Uh, it's the big reason why I purchased another one of these. It has the inside bag storage. Uh, the bags are expensive on this machine. They run on, I don't know, I figured it out a long time ago. It's about 35 or 40 cents a bag um, versus the sorbent systems. They use their bags. They can do any um, of the bags. They're about 10 cents. They uh, seal through this little snorkel uh, you know, um, thing that sticks out of the machine. But ten cents versus thirty-five cents, so you want to keep that in mind to uh, seal with the food saver. It's pretty much automatic. Um, I don't think I could get as good of a draw from the food saver as I do from the sorbent system machine. Um, but that being said, I mean it still gives a uh, gives a you know uh, air seal. Uh, I just think the sorbent pulls a little bit uh, stronger vacuum. Uh, the food saver is all automatic, so it's, you know, basically no-brainer, um, you know, on it. Uh, While well, I get this machine uh, ready, I wrote uh, down some of the considerations on the food saver. Alrighty, I've got the uh, snorkel vacuum all plugged in uh, and, and ready to go here. Uh, again, these... Uh, what I do on the snorkel vac is when I'm doing anything wet like meat, I always take a piece of parchment paper and fold it and stick it inside the bag on top of the uh, the food product. And you just make sure that the bottom of the bag is underneath the snorkel and then the top is on the top. And you can adjust this up to a 9 draw. So this really has some drawing power. Um, like I said, I think it gives a, a stronger seal than the other one. Uh, the machine is a lot uh, less fancy than the uh, food saver, um, but it's a workhorse. To seal it, you just push down on the bar, so it's by no means uh, is it automatic at all. I, it's hands-on pretty much, uh, but it you know the bag uh, the bag cost is so much cheaper. Um, and see, I think it gives you a much stronger uh, stronger vacuum. Uh, for the money, you know, on the bags. Um, so you just uh, you just need to compare what uh, you know what uh, you're looking for in a machine. You know, are you going to be doing mostly meats with it? Are you going to be doing the uh, you know the mason jars? Because the sorbent system machine will not do the uh, the mason jar seal. Uh, and I thought that that was pretty important. That's who oh, I have two machines. Um, Originally, my uh, food saver, uh, I bought the Professional years ago, and it broke. Um, so I purchased this. Uh, I actually bought a store demo, um, so I did not pay the $179 that they uh, they were wanting for this machine. The Sorbent System machine is $99. If you buy $50 worth of bags, you get it for $89. Anyway, uh, I hope the information I provided you uh, helps you out a little bit. And, uh, and gives you an idea of what each machine can do. Anyway, this is uh, Back to Basic Scale. Thanks for stopping by.